Hey guys, I'm Marcus and I'm going to give you a bit of a tour through my home. I'm going to be calling out all my plant names. Now look, I don't know all the scientific names and I certainly don't know all the species variety names, etc. But I'm going to um, just call out what I know and by all means, if you know um, some of the names that I might be missing, um, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Alright, let's take a tour now. Okay, so let's start in the kitchen. Here we've got a spathophyllum, you're going to see plenty of these babies. Uh, down here we have got a peperomia, I'm not sure on the type of peperomia. Um, um, a little Sami spider, George. Um, spider plants, a couple of uh, calatheas here, one of them is a medallion, super glossy leaves. I'm really, really excited about that one. Um, here we have got some devil's ivy, the golden pothos. Up there we've got a rubber plant, the ficus. Um, across uh, we have got philodendron heart leaf. We have got a monstera, the Swiss cheese. Uh, over here we've got fish tank number one uh, with some various aquatic plants in. Uh, here we've got a golden pothos coming across. We have got the spathophyllums again in the back. We've got a philodendron brazil. Brazil. Huh. We have got an aloe vera. Okay, coming over here. Moving out of the kitchen, we have got a great big golden cane, which is thriving in here. I've got north-facing windows, so I get a lot of light in here, fortunately. I'm down here. I'm not entirely sure what that one is. Um, if you know, let me know. Uh, we've got some spathophyllums. We've got the spathophyllum sensation, which is just getting huge. Uh, Dracaena dragon plants here. We have got a philodendron shangri-la. Uh, I'll do the dining table in a moment. We've got a great big sensation again here, adored. Uh, golden pothos. Oh, okay, got fish tank number two here. This is aquatic, uh, aquaponic, so we've got some, uh, you know, devil's ivy in here. We've got the uh, syngonium. We've got uh, spathophyllums, and we've got some calathea. Uh, a couple of succulents going on. We've got more devil's ivy, the golden pothos. Uh, did I say up there, golden pothos? We've got some calathea, uh, some aloe vera. We've got a really shitty looking um, bat flower. I don't know what's wrong with that, guys. If you know how to make this look a bit healthier, please let me know. Um, Peperomia, uh, the, the Sansevieria, and up here we've got another great big um, scrolling everywhere, uh, the Swiss cheese. Down here we have got a Euphorbria, which is thriving big time. Got a Philodendron uh, Shangri-La, um, another Spathophyllum. Um, we have got the Mexican walking, a Brazilian walking stick, this one, which is just about to do some major flowering. Um, across here, we have got various uh, succulents, cactuses, aloe vera, and leading up to a marble queen pothos. Um, got a great big giant bird of paradise, this Trulitzia, which is seriously punching a hole through the ceiling. Uh, we have got a Dracaena. Um, I think this is a variegated Janet Craig, but I can't quite recall. Forgive me. Uh, Spathophyllum, another golden cane. We've got some ginger down here, which isn't going that well inside. It really kind of struggles. Um, I don't know if I said before, I think I said Shangri-La, that is actually a Xanadu. Okay, we have got another ficus rubber plant. We have got some uh, Java moss growing in a bowl there. We've got the golden barrel cactus. We have got the stromanthi, which has just got the most amazing under purple adore. Uh, we've got a couple of begonias. We've got the red robin there. Uh, mini monstera. We've got an alpenia, which I really like. I've just actually had to treat that for bugs. Um, it got absolutely ravaged over winter. Uh, we've got some lucky bamboo because you need it. Uh, another peperomia, again, I don't know that one. Uh, we've got a philodendron here. And up there is my majestic devil's ivy, my big one. I call that one my chandelier. Uh, over here we've got another devil's ivy. This one is the uh, neon of the Goldilocks. Coming through here, we've got some various succulents in there. We've got an orchid, we've got the blue star fern, uh, which is loving it indoors. Down here we have got the tractor seat. We have got uh, another calathea. We have got the philodendron gold. Um, 
we've got a dragon plant or dragon tree that one is um, we've got the grape leaf scissors which is thriving in here if you want a vine inside seriously you guys try the scissors because it is just tremendous and I don't get any bugs on that either uh, we have got a philodendron heart leaf which is going gangbusters um, I'll show you quickly outside uh, but it's just generally a lot of herbs and bits and pieces um, but really um, yeah let's not even worry about that I'll be here forever we've got a zebrina an alocasia zebrina we've got another oh my goodness I'm getting all lost we've got another pepperoni mia we've got another dragon tree we've got uh, anthurium which is looking really terrible I swear to god I think he's like moments away from being thrown away uh, another devil's ivy surprise and we've got a ficus uh, benjamina variegata um, I won't go in there I'll stay in here we've got a rattlesnake calathea we've got a croton which uh, you know what it comes and goes it's not brilliant uh, we've got a dragon tail plant which is just growing everywhere we have got a another couple of spots of films over here we have got a philodendron shangri-la um, a nice fiddle leaf fig that is just about to hit the ceiling down here we've got our cordy lions um, or devil's ivy uh, we have got the hoya uh, you know what it doesn't really grow that well for me more swiss cheese uh, peperomia again dragon plants dragon trees uh, golden pothos we've got the Snow Queen Pothos, we've got the Peperomia uh, Watermelon, we've got some Tread Scans here, which I really like that one, that one grows so easily. Um, more Cordeline, got the Elephant Ears, the Alocasia, this one again has got some really amazing underside purple. Uh, Monstera, the giant big Monstera, which is only a baby, we've got some Bamboo Palm, another Mexican a Brazilian walking stick, Janet Craig, um, another golden cane up here. What that was, Ivy. Okay, fish tank number three, stacked with plants. It's like a forest in there. It's a jungle. Uh, Spathophyllum. We've got some Calathea. We've got a silver sword philodendron. We've got a little temperamental um, stingray plant. But it is actually shooting new babies, so you know what? I think we're going to be okay come spring. We've got some Rebusons. We have got some Alocasia, some elephant ears. Uh, another one down here. Got the standard sword fern, uh, Aspidextra, uh, umbrella plant. Another great big giant bed of paradise, which is about to have a massive leaf on it. Up here, we've got Devil's Ivy, Sansevieria, um, a nice big Monstera up the top there. Uh, Syngonium, uh, Chinese Evergreen, where are you? Over here. Uh, another Syngonium, and it's about all there. Over here, we've got a Zuzu plant. We've got a Boston Fern, Peperomia, Bromeliads. Uh, the Coleus, which is looking sensational with its hot pink at the moment. Um, Orchids have just come out. I'm so excited. Got the Christmas plant, or the Christmas cactus, and another silver sword, uh, a really terrible spider plant, um, more Calathea, and Chinese evergreen, the happy plant, the corn plant, more Calathea, more Alocasia, a nice big rubber plant, ficus, uh, the silver. Um, Sansevieria. Okay, okay, let's move on. Um, almost there in the bedroom now. We've got the philodendron Xanadu, and we have got the green jade Pothos, uh, another Sansevieria, oh, fish tank number four. Uh, Sansevieria, Devil's Ivy, uh, Sansevieria, oh, Sansevieria, um, Spathophyllum. The Dracaena um, dragon tree, dragon plant. Uh, the oh, that's the gold um, Dracaena. 
more uh, for sword turn, for a sword fan, Devil's Ivy, uh, the um, Marble Queen, no, the Snow Queen, the Philodendron Red Bristle, and here we've got an amazing White Stripe uh, Spathophyllum. Over here we have some Tansevieria. Uh, the Marble Queen, which is really stunningly white. I've got my grow lights here as well. Um, I use grow lights uh, beside the bed because it's too dark in this room. Um, a really cute Peperomia. And that is about it. This is kind of my sick layer. I've got another balcony over here, but um, nothing is really thriving at the moment. But um, that's where all my little sick children go. In the bathroom, I need to turn on the light. This is a really dark room. Um, I find my spathophyllums go really well in here um, with this insane low light. They've been in here for about a year and they're doing quite nicely. So that's about that. Um, hey everyone, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, hit the subscribe button and get notified every time I've got a video coming out. Um, all garden related, it'll be fun and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, bye.